Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Road. Now, this is a little bit of a different video because today we're not in the speakeasy and I'm not actually even drinking whiskey, but we're doing a whiskey project. So we are coming up on filming Jamie's uh, top, bourbon, top 10 bourbons of 2022. And one of the problems that we've discovered is that one of the bourbons is so incredibly dark that when we have a transparent Glen Cairn, we know which one it is every single time. So what we're doing is I have some extra Glen Cairns, as you can imagine, that we, we we go through Glen Cairns and they get scratched up and they don't look great for filming anymore. So I'm gonna actually paint them so that we can't see the inside. So I've got some uh, some black spray paint we'll show you in a minute. And we're gonna actually paint these up so we don't actually see how dark or not dark these different bourbons are. So we when we do our six-way finale, uh, which we're gonna get ready to film uh, here very shortly, we have some glasses that are easy for us to, to not really see what's in them or how dark they are or the differences between them. It's all about taste, smell, and experience. What we have is we have the Rust-Oleum Universal Satin Paint and Primer in one. Now, one of the problems is, is that the Rust-Oleum is not considered uh, particularly food safe, meaning that once it dries, obviously you don't want to drink it when it's wet or uh, ingest it in any way when it's wet, but when it's dry, some paints you can actually like paint ceramic bowls with and are going to be uh, much less risk of some kind of toxic reaction or toxic poisoning. This is not that. This is actually uh, one that I would not recommend you, uh, you put your lips to. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this Sharp Lines Scotch uh, painter's tape to create a standoff from the top of the Glen down to about here and that's going to be left clear. Then we need some rubbing alcohol and we'll explain a little bit more about why we need that here in just a minute. Some paper towels for the rubbing alcohol. Obviously we need a Glen Cairn and we have 220 grit sandpaper sheets that we will use to scour the glass before we paint it. Now let me show you how this works. Now I'm using a zip tie to create my guide for the top of the Glen Cairn. And everything that's on this side is not going to be painted, and everything on this side of the line is going to be folded into the Glen Cairn during painting to protect it. Now I'm pulling off one whole turn of the tape to go onto the Glen Cairn. You can eyeball it. Get it about right. It's about right. Not quite a hole. Then you line the end up, your guide up. Okay, and you just want that guide to stay as you go and that will help keep it nice and straight this is actually the hardest part about this whole thing is creating that line just perfectly around the circle now some of you may be asking david they sell these why are you doing this and the answer is because you know 13 dollars a piece for for the frosted glen cairns the ones you buy pre pre-frosted uh the second thing is is i have a bunch of extra ones sitting around and uh, that i don't film with anymore because they're scratched up and then the third reason is because the shipping on the frosted ones means they won't be here until late next week and we need to get this filmed. So necessity is the mother of invention. Put that lid right there. There we go. Now after that we can fold it up and it not really matter. And we just fold it in. When we drink from these finished, we won't actually have paint to our lips. And oh, also there is paint you can do this with that is uh, for the most part considered safe to put to your lips. Uh, but that also wouldn't arrive shipping until uh, until it was too late. So again, this is the solution that we came up with. Now that you got the tape on there, take your 220 grit sandpaper or something about that. You want it to be uh, pretty fine grain. You don't want really coarse sandpaper to do this. And you just want to scour the surface real quick. Doesn't have to be great, but it just helps. You don't want it to be too deep. Don't press too hard. Don't stress too much about it. Just get it sanded. Give, it, give that paint something to work with. And get underneath the bowl good. And get it in here. From here on, you don't want to touch the glass because you don't want to be putting your greasy fingers and human oil and whatnot onto the glass itself. And this, the purpose of this is to get any oil, any chemical, anything else that's gonna cause problems in painting or cause the paint not to adhere. So we're getting the glass dust off that was uh, there. You can paint outside. 
uh, follow the directions on your can, follow all the warnings on your cans. And if this seems like a crazy idea and you should never ever do this, then just don't. We're not touching it, we'll give it a second to dry and then we'll start painting. Now we're gonna do this six times, so it's gonna take a while, but we'll, we'll come back in just a second and you'll see all six just like this. All right, I've got all six glasses ready that we need to do the blind. I ended up having to pull out the other paint and stool and another board. Uh, actually, those boards are left over from when I built the speakeasy. So anyway, yeah, so uh, the paper towels are underneath the glasses so I can turn them when I'm painting them. And the key when painting these is to just go slow. Uh, it's going to take multiple coats over multiple, you know, minutes, hours uh, to get it right and to get it thick enough because if you put too much on the glass, too much paint on the glass at a time, it will just run and destroy it. So uh, it's just super hard, super pain in the butt to fix. So just go very, very slow, do a nice uh, one layer start, give it uh, 15 to 30 minutes to dry and do a second, you know, do a second light layer and then uh, then you can kind of go from there. Now some people may be asking what paint color do we use? Yes, we're going to use black. Um, I obviously, uh, as the black t-shirt guy, you would think that that was me that wanted to get the black paint, but I actually wanted to do rose gold and then bejulum, uh, and put some like, you know, glue, hot glue on some, like some like nice gemstones on there. Jamie said no to that. She said I had to do the black. So we're going to just go with plain basic black. All right, just put the last coat of paint on. I think this should be good. In total, did probably three coats, three light coats. Um, took about uh, 20 to 30 minutes between each coat. And I think we are pretty good. I'm pretty happy with them. Anyway, we uh, I'll show you in just a sec, the final result. Hey, we're back in the speakeasy. The glasses are done. It's the next day. Uh, after letting them dry outside, doing all the coats, letting them dry some more, doing another coat, all that process, Ended up uh, letting them dry for like maybe an hour more in the sun and in the air. Then I brought them inside. I put them in the oven at like 300 for like 20 minutes. Let them off gas some more. Well, we're done. This is what we got. So this is a painted Glen Cairn. Uh, the bottom is painted. It's painted all the way around except for that little rim around the top uh, where we can drink out of. See these? Yeah, yeah not bad. There's a teeniest little bit of a paint smell still. Very, very, very mild though. I think the oven like helped kind of speed that process up. Very faint. After a week or two, they should be gone. Now again, when we go to drink, you know, our lips aren't even touching, touching that paint, which is the whole reason we did this. We were under the gun time-wise, so we didn't want to wait on ordering some Glen Cairns. Or if you're too cheap and you don't want to spend the $13 or $14 on Amazon to get some, some real black Glen Cairns. Um, or you just want to paint some Glen Cairns and make some decorative Glen Cairns because you want to, you know, make your whiskey space uh, really decorative. Maybe you want to paint them black and then paint some flowers on them, or um, put your put your own little logo. I don't know, whatever you want to do. Hopefully, you found this video helpful. I just wanted to capture this process and share it with you because it was something that was kind of a fun little project for me. Uh, I wish I would have shared my whole shelf building thing that I did for the speakeasy because I, I did all these shelves and the piping and everything for it. And I wish I would have filmed it because a lot of you have asked me about it. And this is how we did our glasses, uh, the painted Glen Cairns. Don't know how long they're going to last. If you enjoyed this, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And until next time, find a bottle you love.